Have you ever wondered how animals keep their teeth clean and healthy without using toothpaste, floss, or mouthwash? How do they avoid getting tooth decay, gum disease, and bad breath? And what can we learn from them to improve our own dental health? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and interesting topics about everything. Today, we're going to talk about something that might surprise you. Why don't wild animals have cavities even if they don't brush their teeth? You might think that wild animals have perfect teeth because they eat natural foods and avoid processed sugars. But that's not the whole story. In fact, some animals do get cavities, especially those that eat a lot of fruits or honey. For example, chimpanzees are among the worst offenders when it comes to tooth decay, according to a recent study by researchers from Germany and the UK. They found that more than half of the chimps they examined had cavities, and some even had abscesses and infections. So why do some animals get cavities while others don't? And how do they cope with them without going to the dentist? Well, there are several factors that influence the dental health of wild animals, such as their diet, their saliva, their microbiome, and their lifespan. Let's start with diet. One of the main causes of cavities in humans is a bacterium called Streptococcus mutans, which feeds on sugars and produces acids that erode the enamel of the teeth. Animals that eat a lot of sticky carbohydrates, such as fruits, honey, or grains, are more likely to have this bacterium in their mouths. On the other hand, animals that eat mostly fibrous plants, meat, or bones have less of this bacterium and more of other beneficial bacteria that help prevent tooth decay. Another factor is saliva. Saliva plays an important role in washing away food particles and neutralizing acids in the mouth. Some animals have more saliva than others, which helps them keep their teeth clean. For example, dogs have a lot of saliva, which is why they lick their teeth and gums after eating. Cats also have a lot of saliva, but they use it for grooming rather than for cleaning their teeth. However, cats have another advantage. Their saliva contains a protein called lysozyme, which has antibacterial properties and can kill Streptococcus mutans. A third factor is the microbiome. The microbiome is the collection of microorganisms that live in and on our bodies, including our mouths. The microbiome affects our health in many ways, including our dental health. Some microorganisms can protect us from cavities by competing with harmful bacteria or producing substances that inhibit their growth. For example, some bacteria can produce hydrogen peroxide, which can kill Streptococcus mutans. Animals have different microbiomes depending on their diet and environment, which can influence their susceptibility to cavities. A fourth factor is lifespan. Wild animals are more likely to wear down their teeth than to get cavities. Generally, wild animals do not appear to have cavities because their teeth have a longer lifespan than their life. Their lifespans aren't long enough for their teeth to rot before they die. For example, elephants have six sets of molars that grow throughout their lives, but they usually die before they use up all of them. Humans, on the other hand, have only two sets of teeth, baby teeth and adult teeth. And since we live much longer than most animals, we need to take good care of our teeth to prevent them from decaying. So what can we learn from wild animals about dental health? Well, we can't exactly copy their diets or lifestyles, but we can adopt some of their habits as follows. We can eat more foods that are rich in fiber and low in sugar, such as vegetables, nuts, seeds, and lean meats. We can drink more water and less sugary drinks, such as soda, juice, or coffee. 
We can chew sugar-free gum or hard cheese after meals to stimulate saliva production and reduce acidity in the mouth. We can brush our teeth twice a day or more with fluoride toothpaste and floss daily to remove plaque and bacteria. We can visit our dentist regularly for checkups and cleanings. By following these simple tips, we can improve our dental health and prevent cavities. And we can also appreciate the amazing diversity and adaptability of wild animals and their teeth. But not all animals are so lucky. Some animals do suffer from dental problems, and they need our help to treat them. For example, some animals that are kept as pets or in captivity, such as dogs, cats, rabbits, rodents, and horses, can develop cavities if they are fed a diet that contains processed sugars that differs from their natural foods. These animals may need dental care from veterinarians or owners to prevent pain and infection. Other animals that have cavities in the wild include bats, bears, and some carnivores. These animals may eat fruits, honey, or carrion that contain sugars that can cause tooth decay. They may also have less saliva or less beneficial bacteria in their mouths than other animals. Some of these animals may have ways to cope with their cavities, such as chewing on sticks, bones, or grass to clean their teeth or using their claws or tongues to remove food particles. However, some of them may suffer from tooth loss, inflammation, or reduced feeding ability. Some of the most interesting examples of animals with cavities are the prehistoric ones. Fossil evidence shows that some ancient animals had tooth decay, such as dinosaurs, mammoths, and saber-toothed cats. These animals may have eaten plants or meat that contained sugars or starches that could damage their teeth. They may also have had less saliva or less beneficial bacteria in their mouths than modern animals. Some of these animals may have had adaptations to deal with their cavities, such as growing new teeth or having multiple sets of teeth. However, some of them may have died from infections or starvation caused by their dental problems. So, as you can see, cavities are not only a human problem. They affect many animals, both living and extinct. And while some animals have amazing ways to prevent or cope with cavities, others need our help or sympathy. Maybe next time you brush your teeth, you can think of the wild animals that don't have this luxury and how they manage to keep their teeth healthy without brushing. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.